This is the obituary of Lawrence H. Pfaff Sr. He was born in Belmont, New York on April 16, 1941. He passed away on June 27, 2022, living a long life, much longer than he deserved. He is survived by his three children, no, four, oops, five children. Well, as of 2022, we believe there is one more that we know about, but there could be more. His love was abundant when it came to himself, but for his children, it was limited. From a young age, he was a ladies' man and an abusive alcoholic, solidifying his commitment to both with the path of destruction he left behind, damaging his adult children and leaving them broken. Lawrence Sr.'s hobbies included abusing his first wife and children. He loved to start projects but never followed through on any of them. He enjoyed the life of a barfly for many years and had a quaint little living space, studio, above his favorite hole in the wall, the Club Nashville. Lawrence Sr. did spend over 20 years in the NYPD, but even his time in service was negligent at best. Because of his alcohol addiction, his commanding officer took away his gun and badge, replacing them with a broom until he could get his act together. Lawrence Sr. did claim to be clean and sober for over 30 years, but never worked any of the 12 steps, including the 8th and 9th steps with his children, making amends. He possesses no redeeming qualities for his children, including the ones he knew and the ones he knew about. It will be challenging to miss Lawrence Sr. because he was narcissistic. He was incapable of love. Lawrence Sr.'s passing proves that evil does eventually die, and it marks a time of healing which will allow his children to get the closure they deserve. Lawrence Sr. can be remembered for being a father to many and a dad to none. This sad and disturbing letter was written by the child of a narcissist. In James 4, 14, the Bible reads, For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. Let this be a reminder that our time is short on earth and we as parents have the power to raise the next generation in the right way. A letter like this ought to scare every selfish parent out there. Fight narcissism. Die to yourself. Live for God while there's time.